Good evening everybody. Tonight I'm going to cook the most lovely lemony thymey chicken with orzo. Now I've done a bit of the sort of cooking beforehand just to sort of save a bit of time but we have um, I've just used some chicken thighs um, and I have really browned them in a frying pan so they, the skin has taken on a lovely lovely brown brown sort of hue and it's really um, crispy. Um, I then popped these, I, I cook them in a skillet and I put the skillet back into the oven for about 10 minutes so the chicken is pretty much cooked. Um, it takes quite a long time to brown so it takes at least five minutes on the skin side and you need to see the skin starting to shrink away to make sure that you have done it all properly. Um, so you're left with a really lovely saucepan of juices and this is going to go now back on to the hob. I'm going to heat that up a little bit and then I'm going to add some really lovely ingredients to this. So I have chopped up one onion and one red onion and then I had a little bit of tiny bit of leek left in my fridge so I've chopped that up. Um, there is some lemon zest in here, there is some fresh thyme, there is some fonds of fennel which is going to give it a really lovely flavour and then also a couple of bits of lovage which is I bought this um, from um, a lovely garden centre just the other just last week very exciting all the garden centres are now open so in I'm going to first of all sort of put in the onions and we're going to sort of sweat this onion down so it's in the fennel and not the fennel the why do I, oh, I don't know what I do in my videos I always call things different things but it's the thyme and the lovage has gone in so all that is going to go in and that is going to sort of cook down and then I'll just pop the fennel in as well and the flavours coming out of here are absolutely delicious so that is going to just cook away until it softens like um, there we go, it looks really lovely. And once that has softened down, I will then come back and add the orzo. Okay, so you can now see that the onions have started to brown and there is a little bit of browning on the bottom of the pan. So this is the time to add your orzo. So pop it back over onto the hob. Get your orzo. Now, orzo is this most fantastic, it looks like rice, but it's actually pasta. And it's the most brilliant thing for doing a sort of all-in-one, as you know, I love doing these like very easy suppers that you can sort of do all in one pan stays on the washing up and we're I'm doing this for a six the six of us so I'm putting in it's about 450 grams of it also so then you have to then stir it around in the pan until you coat all of the also in the lovely flavors of the onions and the lovage and the fennel and the thyme and the lemon and then you cook this and you want to slightly brown the pasta so this will take about another five Minutes. I'm just going to add a little blob of butter just to add to the flavour. So that's going to go in and just, you just keep on going until the rice, rice, it's not rice, it's pasta. <laughs> it well, also um, looks just like rice. I suppose it's going to behave a bit like rice. And when it has started, when the rice has started, when the Golly, I'm going mad. When the also has started to brown, we're going to add a little bit of white wine. I've just got some Prosecco open. So that's just going to be about 150 millilitres of wine when the pasta has started to brown. Also. So it's it's now, you can really smell a toasty um, toastiness from the pasta. So the pasta starts to brown. So the next thing you do is just add a little bit of wine. We've just got this Prosecco open. So just a little dash like that. And that, you're going to just let that all absorb. And so that flavor. So you've got this lovely sort of wine flavor with the lemon, with the thyme, um, and the lovage and the fennel. And you're just gonna let that very slowly and gently absorb um, and then we will add chicken stock. So the chicken stock, in an ideal world, um, you would add a little bit at a time 
um, but as you know, I try and make things a little bit easier for everybody. So this is about 500 milliliters of chicken stock. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it all at the same time. And I'll show you a sort of magic trick you can do. Um, you can do this actually with, with rice as well as pasta, but you're going to just bring it gently up to the boil on here. And at this stage, you're going to then add back your chicken. Um, I'm just gonna use my hands, I'm just gonna sort of nestle those in to the pan. Like this, very quickly, as I can. And then what we'll do is we'll just bring it up to a sort of gentle simmer and you pop the lid on and then you put it back into the into a very sort of low temperature oven and then it will just very, very gently cook and the also will cook as well. So we'll just bring that, wait for that to come to the boil. Make sure there's nothing sort of sticking on the bottom. Um, bring it up the boil, which is nearly, nearly is. And lid on. That's nicely coming up to the boil. And then, yes, put it into a sort of a, a oven that's about 120 degrees, and then all the flavors will very slowly and gently absorb into the pasta or into the orzo and into the chicken. I'll come back in a minute when it's all ready. Okay, so I've now just got it out of the oven and um, as you can see, the orzo has absorbed all the, most of the sort of the juices of the stock and the wine. And the last thing that you need to do is just add some lemon juice. So I've just squeezed one lemon and that is just going to go in. The reason you sort of put it in at the end is if you put the lemon in during the cooking, you'll find that the sort of lemon juice flavors will sort of not be as fresh and as nice tasting. So you want to do that little bit at, at the very, very end. So just slightly stir that in. And then I'm just going to garnish it. So I'm going to serve it from the pan. So it's all going to be garnished with some coriander. So I'll just quickly snip some of that off. And that's how it'll just go to the table in the pan. Oh, I'm trying to snip my fingers off. So there we go. That's it.